morning. I'm Robert Linden with the Star FM full coverage news update. A relative of a young Langley woman who died of flesh-eating disease says he couldn't believe the condition of the 22-year-old's foot. Jack Stanley says Diane Ferguson's foot was like a puffball a few days before she died. Ferguson died of flesh-eating disease, which went undiagnosed despite a number of trips to seek medical advice. And uh, is, he says that Ferguson had gone to the hospital earlier in the day. She was told to give earlier medication time to work and was sent home. Stanley also says the young woman was sweating while complaining of being very cold. Stanley's testifying at a coroner's inquest probing the death last March. That inquest continues this hour in Burnaby. A ratepayers group in Delta has demanded a provincial investigation into the relationship between a senior administrator and a law firm. The North Delta Ratepayers Association has asked Municipal Affairs Minister Mike Farnworth to investigate what it says is a potential conflict of interest involving Delta's senior administrative officer Tom Fletcher and the law firm used by Delta. Councilor Lois Jackson says a motion was proposed at an in-camera meeting to have the municipality pay Fletcher's legal expenses for a private matter, a dispute over the bill for parking Fletcher's aircraft at Boundary Bay Airport. Police confirm an 11-year-old New Jersey boy who went out fundraising for school is dead. Edward Werner had been missing since Saturday. Police say Edward's body was found in the woods behind his Jackson Township neighborhood yesterday. He was last seen selling holiday merchandise door-to-door to raise money for his school. He was carrying about $200 cash from sales, and the school has imposed a moratorium on all such fundraisers. Fugitive director Roman Polanski is said to be planning to return to Los Angeles. Polanski fled to France two decades ago rather than face punishment for raping a 13-year-old girl. A report says the 63-year-old director is expected to return to Los Angeles for sentencing in a deal sparing him any jail time. The original prosecutor in the 1977 case refuses to comment. Full coverage weather, rain today and tomorrow at times heavy, up to 50 millimeters in the next 24 hours and winds up to 60 kilometers an hour. Highs near 18, overnight lows near 11, more rain Thursday, Friday and Saturday. It's 19 degrees in the valley, 16 in Vancouver. And you're up to date on Star FM. Good morning, it's 11.05. I'm John Oliver. Get the umbrella out. We've got another hour of All-Star Music on 104.9 Star FM. All-Star Music for your workday, 104.9.